hi everyone welcome to my channel today i want to walk you through how to make or how to prepare your baby formula i have two feeding bottles here but the reason why i'm going to be using this one the reason why i got this one is because the markings on this one um is clearer so you can see this is the advent bottle and this is the 125 mils bottle so for every feeding bottle no matter how um, no matter the brand or how the feeding bottle is, you always see these markings. There is 20, there is 40, there is 60, there is 80, there is 100, there is 125, okay? And these are on the bigger, you know, the bigger lines. The ones in between means that this is 20, in between 20 and 40 should be 30, in between 40 and 60 should be 50, you know, and so on and so forth, okay? Now, when it comes to um, baby formulas, you prepare the formula in the ratio of one scoop to 30 ml. So if I'm using this, maybe um, if I'm using this feeding bottle, what that means is that this is the 30 ml mark. I'm going to put my water and pour it up to this 30 ml line, and then I put one scoop. If I decide to do um, 60 ml, because like I said, f um, formulas are you know the ratio is 30 mils to one scoop so you don't do 15 mils you don't do 40 mils you don't do um 18 mils so it's 30 60 90 and so on so if i was to make 60 mils 60 mils the water will have to stop at this level of 16 and then i add two scoops of formula so if i'm to make 90 mils this thick mark here is already 80 that means the thinner one in between is 90. If I was to make 90 mils, I'm going to add the water here to 90 mils and then add three scoops of the formula. I use this feeding bottle because the markings are clearer. For my baby, she's already six months, so we don't use this anymore because she's a foodie. So we're using a bigger bottle for her. This, feeder, this feeding bottle also has those markings, but like I said, it's clearer on this bottle. So for her, um, she takes sometimes 210 mils of formula, okay? So today I'm making 210 mils of formula for her. So the formula we're going to be using is this Kenda Milk First Infant Milk. This is infant milk that she has been using since, since she was born. At some point we changed to Similac, but Similac became scarce, so we went back to Kenda Milk. Kenda Milk is a very good brand. It's um, made in the UK and it's also very affordable. I mean, for formula, I don't, I don't really have any preference. It's anyone you decide to go for. All formulas, in my opinion, are good. Even the Nigerian made formula. So anyone you decide to go for is very, very okay. The key to, you know, having a healthy baby is to have clean bottles and to prepare the milk correctly. So let's start. I've already washed my hands before now. Make sure you wash your hands, please, before you start editing baby. Okay. And this in here is my hot water. You can, some people like to use freshly boiled water, you know, they boil the water and they use it and that's fine. But here in Nigeria, I don't know if that's how it is every other part of the world. We make our um, boiled water and we pour it into a flask. That way it's convenient for you. Whenever you want to make your baby's food, it's, there's already hot water available. Or whenever you want to go out as well, there's already hot water in your flask. So, I hope I'm seeing well. So um, we are pouring that into the feeding bottle at 210 mils. You may not be, be able to see because this bottle is pink and the markings are not so clear. But that is 210 mils. 210 mils is going to be in between 200 and 220. The next thing is to add our formula. So like I said, the ratio is one scoop to 30 mils if you can do the math you do the math so if you have 210 mils basically you're doing 210 divided by 30 so that will give you seven scoops if you cannot do the math what you will just do is just to come here again at the bottom there's always that marking let me use this one there's always that marking of you know on this side you have the 20 40 60 80 100 125 but on the other side you have the one two three four this is for if you can't do the math. So if you can't do the math or you don't have the energy to do the math, what that means is that when your water is at 30, you're putting one scoop. If it's at um, 60, you're putting two scoops. If it's at 90, which is in between 80 and 100, 
you're putting three scoops and so on and so forth so as our water is at 210 ml we're going to be adding seven scoops of the formula again i need to mention your baby's appetite is definitely going to be different from every other baby's appetite okay so for my baby she's six months and she consumes 210 meals most times um, at each each feed for another baby that is about the same age that child might be taking 180 meals or even 150 meals depending on the baby's appetite okay so if, baby, if your baby is six months and consumes less than 210 meals is there is nothing wrong with your child that's absolutely fine it's just you know how the baby's appetite is okay and again there's also a guide on some formulas so you would always want to look out for that i don't know if i should show you so this is where you have the guide for um the kinder meal every brand has their own guide but they're basically almost the same so if you look here you're going to see that from beds there's a, a particular kg that you know an average kg of babies at this age um this is what they're supposed to be taking 90 meals and of course they tell you how many scoops the 19 meals will be and like, like that there is two to four weeks there is one to two months down to six months so as you can see six months actually should consume 210 meals right and six months of 8 kg should consume 210 meals i bet you my baby is already above 8 kg but she still consumes 210 meals so don't bother yourself yes this is just a guide it's not definitely going to be like that for everybody so if you're looking at like when i had my first child i was so i was really strictly following this guide i was like okay he's at two months and so he should be able to eat 150 meals or 120 meals and sometimes he wouldn't even take up to 90 meals and i was so frustrated but if I, found, I found out that it was just his appetite at the time. So if, if your baby is a particular age, and according to the guide, they should be eating a particular meal, um, a particular number of meals, and they're not even taking up to that, just allow the child. That's just the child's appetite. So for my baby, she has a huge appetite, and she takes 210 meals four to five times in a day. So our water is here, our hot water is here. Most formulas have this thing, this line here, it's called the leveler, so that you don't go and, you know, say you want to give your baby, you know, plenty food and then you over scoop. This is over scooping. Or you want to mice the milk, you now under scoop. This is under scooping, okay? So the proper way is to scoop as much as possible, but then get it to the leveler and this is what you want to have. And then you add that, so this is one. This is two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then, of course, you shake. So, if you notice, I didn't add more than seven, and I didn't add less than seven so that brings me to some misconception that some people have you know they see the formula as you know it's just milk now so add to taste you know you know how you add milk into your own pap like if you as an adult you want to take pap some people like their pap really creamy and they keep on adding scoops adding scoops it doesn't work like that when it comes to baby formula um of course like i said it works with the ratio of 30 ml to one scoop so um you don't want to say that, okay, I want to feed my baby. I want to, you know, add meal very well so that my baby will eat and become very healthy, you know. Then you have 210 meals and you can add 10 scoops. That's wrong. Or you're mising your money and you don't want the formula. Maybe your baby is worried for and is eating anyhow. <laughs> you know, you want one tin of um, formula to last you for three months. You now add 210 meals of water and you add four scoops. For the first one, you are causing harm to your baby in the sense that over adding the, the number of schools you're meant to add in the number of meals can actually give your baby constipation and other health issues on the adding will leave your child malnourished okay so this is the guide this is what you're supposed to follow for your child to gain as much nutrients as they can from the baby formula this also goes for those who want to inculcate things like pap or things like um cereals okay so if you want to make pap and you want to make um let's say 120 meals of pap for example what that means is that 
you're going to make the formula first 120 mils of the formula first and then you now add the pap so that way the baby is getting nutrients from the pap and getting equal nutrients as well from the formula that goes to that goes for making cereals as well you want to make the formula the right way before you add your cereal so if my child wants to take pap and I make 120 meals, that may just also increase the form, the quantity you want to feed your baby. So for example, if my child wants to take um, PAP and I make 210 meals of baby formula, that means that if I add the PAP into this one, the 210 meals, it's probably going to be more than she can consume. So what I'm going to do is to, probably for the time I'm feeding her PAP, reduce the formula intake, okay? So I might just make the formula to probably like 120 or even 90 and then add the pap so that, that way when she's done taking the pap i can just make normal formula of the remainder does that even make sense so if for example let me break it down if i am making pap for my baby and i want her to take 210 meals of formula as breakfast okay i will probably make 120 meals yeah with the with the pap inside and i feed her and then after a while I will now make the remainder so that's 210 meals minus 120 which is 90. i'll now make 90 meals of just formula and feed her so that way i am sure that she got the 210 meals that she was supposed to get as her morning feed if that makes sense so i hope this video was helpful to you if you know someone that has been doing it wrongly you can share this video to the person even if you're not yet a new mom but you plan to you know have children in the future you can save this video and watch it when you need it um yeah so cheers to healthy babies i'm going to see you in my next video thank you so much for watching take care bye